What is up everyone? Dominic Barbado here. Welcome back to this channel. I'm super excited for you guys to be here. As always, make sure you're subscribed. A lot of awesome content comes onto the channel on how you can make more money in your free time with less time essentially because we revolve all around passive income business models. That is my entire life is creating business models that are passive income so that I can live the life that I want. Um, I don't work to live. I live to work or maybe it was vice versa. I, I work to live not live to work. And I think a lot of people do the opposite. A lot of people are in jobs they hate. 89% of the world that has a job is actually not happy or satisfied with their job. So hopefully you're part of the 11% if you do have a job or hopefully you're part of the 1% that have their own businesses and you know is profitable and lasts more than five years. So without further ado though and all those tidbit of tangents and topics, in this video we're going over the vending machine business and why in 2020 I want you to know that the vending machine business is not a passive income business model. Okay, so welcome. If you're new here, I'm Dominic Barbado, author of Vending Revolution, as well as 19 other books. Check me out on Amazon. I'd love to, guide, love to get your opinion on some of my books. If any of you read them, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up as well, or thumbs down if they're not that good of books. But in this video, we're going over passive income, what it means and how it relates to the vending business. Um, I have a lot of passive sources. I have a couple different businesses that revolve around passive income generation. I, for the longest time, believed the vending business was a passive income business. And I do have another video that's semi-viral on this channel that shows you, okay, I made this amount of money and it was passive. Had a lot less machines then, a lot less full line, more bulk. So it really does depend. But in this video, we're going over the specifics of passive income. And I'm gonna show you each and every single part of the vending industry, because obviously there are different types there's honor boxes there's bulk vending there's atms there's amusement there's cranes there's arcades there's full line there's soda snack there's random miscellaneous electronic type of vending machines there's everything so which are passive which are not why i believe this industry isn't passive at all to begin with um, passive income is something that you put in the work once and then repeatedly you're getting paid over and over so real things that are passive income without these YouTube people saying like, this is passive income, this is passive income. Real things that are passive income is something that you do the work once and you're paid continuously and continuously. You don't have to do anything else. Royalties, being in a movie, singing a song, writing a book, doing things like this, passive income, dividend investment, stock investing. These are kind of passive income sources. Dividend investing probably is pretty close to passive income, but the thing is, you know, you could sell out of stocks if you want. You kind of have to monitor your portfolio a little bit, or you could let it sit for a long time and just get those dividend checks. And that's essentially what it is. The vending business, you place a machine, but repeatedly, week after week after week after week after week, week after week, after week, after week uh, you have to go back to that machine. You have to service that machine and you have to stock it and fill it and you know make sure it is a good solid machine full of good products making money every single week. Sometimes you'll have less weeks. Sometimes you'll have more weeks. Sometimes you'll be confused why nothing is selling. This happens in this industry. This is not a passive income business. This is a complete semi-absentee business, I would call it. It's a semi-absentee meaning that you have to be there sometimes, not all the time. I'm not at my vending machines now and a bunch of them are out running and operating and making me money. You could consider that passive income, but guess what? At the end of the week now, I have to go out to these machines, I have to service them, spend time on them, and fill them up and make sure they're good to go. Yes, it seems passive in nature where I'm not you know, trading time for dollars, obviously because it's making money while I'm not there, but at the same time, it's not passive income and I wanna put this completely out there. If you do think it's passive income though, please comment down below. I wanna hear your perspective on it because I know the definition of passive income. I understand passive income and I know people can manipulate the vending machine business to be a passive income model or a residual income model, two different types of things, which some people don't know that. But in my opinion, I'd rather write a song and continuously get paid on it. I think that's passive income or do dividend investing and get paychecks quarterly or monthly on the yield of the stock. That's passive income investing. Vending machines are not passive income investing. And for anyone in 2020 searching how to start a vending machine to make passive income in 2020, which might be the title of this video, you're not making passive income with the vending machine business. You have to work for it. You have to work hard for it. Just like any business, anything that's rewarding, anything that gives you them dollar bills, you have to work for it. Um, <laughs> That sounds weird, but you do. And that's the truth of it. So I just wanted to put a video out there and make sure everyone knows in 2020, since there's literally probably thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people that are learning about the vending machine business because the industry, the topics, the YouTube stuff about it has blown up over the past year, I would say. Um, 
you just want to be aware that like you're not getting into a business where like you're just going to make passive income and not have to do anything for it. It's not that type of business and you're also not going to make a lot of money. Let me break down one more fact for you and then that's it. It's a very quick video here is you're in the nickel and dime business. Like you run on a dollar. Your business operates on usually dollars or fives. So let's just say it's dollars for the most part because that's the majority of your business or credit card too. But you're operating on dollar transactions meaning that you're making maybe, maybe 50, 60 cents off an item that you sell. So just think about these numbers, think about the business, think about the scalability of it, and make sure you understand that it's not a passive income business and it's not a business that's gonna make you a millionaire overnight. It's not even gonna make you a six-figure earner overnight. It's going to take some time, going to take some effort. It is a very rewarding business, a very fulfilling business. Obviously, you're moving around 800 pound machines, but at the same time, just know it's not passive income and get into this business with a full-time job mentality if you're going to do this. And if you do have a full-time job, then I suggest starting with honor boxes, bulk machines, learning the business the first way, doing it slower, cheaper, easier, and then eventually working your way up once you understand how to do it, how to get leads, how to actually work the entire business. Then you'll work your way up full line machines, understand it's not passive, and then you work it into your schedule and make sure it works with your life, your needs, and where you want to be in the future, because that's all it's about. Where do you want to be in the future? Map it back to today, and that's how you have your dream life. That's really it. Um, so I appreciate all of you guys for watching this video. Just want to get this quick video out there, because it's been bothering me. So many people, you know, pretend like vending machines are passive income businesses. They're really not. Like, even with a bulk machine, if I wanted to talk about that, or even ATMs, these are things you still have to go to, you have to service, um, and you still have to collect their money. So it'd be more maybe on the residual income sign, but I, I call it a semi-absentee business because you still have to be there. Um, the make money does come, but you still have to work for it. So make sure you don't forget that. And I will see you guys in the next video. I appreciate all of you that watch this. And uh, make sure you are commenting, subscribed, and enjoying these videos. If you're not enjoying these videos, please just let me know so I can create better videos in the future. Thanks, guys. Peace. <laughs>